would describe it as a journey. It, is, it tells the story of my life, it tells my dreams, my fears. Um, you know, that motherly instinct where I want to have children comes out with, you know, little children playing all over. You have mothers holding babies. I have a, a weird vision of my life in general, and that's what I put onto the canvas. I have these weird little creatures that um, pop up everywhere because my world is dark yet light and playful and it's just, you know, finding happiness in the chaos of everything. <laughs> My number one inspiration for other artists is Mark Ryden. He's, you know, you might not have heard of him, but he's got these weird creatures that come up in his oil paintings, um, very furry creatures with little girls, and it's so adorable, <laughs> but so dark at the same time. <laughs> and um, Tim Burton, I love his work too. So uh, I also have more traditional inspirations like Leonardo da Vinci, um, and when it comes to people in my own life, I'd say my mom is my biggest inspiration. Um, she's also an artist and she taught me how to oil paint and took me to classes when I was in first grade. <laughs> so I've been raised with art. And I say that I'm creating my own genre because I, I've looked at different traditional genres. Um, I love Japanese art and you can kind of see influences of that in the paintings. Well, right now I'm working on doing some children's books. I have a series of little squares um, and it's for a book that I just wrote called uh, Buck and Eddie Take Over. And um, hopefully it'll see the light of day. <laughs> I guess there's not really a certain place I would like to see my artwork hung. I, it's more of an audience. I, I want to uh, share my artwork with as many people as I can. The exhibit is free and runs 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday through May 27th. Centennial Center Galleries at 400 West Gow Street next to Kent City Hall. Sponsored by 4Culture, Kent Parks Foundation, and Kent Arts Commission.